Hello everyone, welcome back to Ilfocorfix. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create professional YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop. This is a professional design tutorial. It might take some time, so watch carefully until the end to learn how to create a YouTube banner like me. And one thing I would like to share. I am a professional designer at Fiverr.com. If you like to make thumbnail for your YouTube video you can design it from me. Just go to the link, and order a design. But after watching the tutorial you will learn how a professional YouTuber creates a YouTube banner, and what is the technique to design a banner like it. So watch the tutorial until the end. And if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Not just subscribe, also press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications of my channel and don't miss any of my future videos. So let's start today's tutorial. Now we are here in the magical world of Photoshop. I have already created this thumbnail. Now I will show you how to create this thumbnail and what is all process to create it. Now first if I show you how the thumbnail restriction of YouTube. You will see the resolution is 1280 into 720. But you can go with full HD resolution. But you need to keep the thumbnail under 2 megabytes. So keep this setup in mind and then design it. I have already created a template PSD for my thumbnail. I always use this template for my every videos. And if you follow all of the thumbnails of my videos are the same. So in case, I will also say you to use a template for your every videos. So now let's create the thumbnail that I would like to share with you. First, we need to create a new document. Go to File, and New. After opening, take the resolution that YouTube recommends you. But you can go with full HD resolution. Take color mood in RGB, then create. Next, we will add background to the thumbnail. Go to this document. I have already taken the background for the thumbnail. If you like to download this background, check the link in the description, unlock the layer. Then take the layer and paste it to the main composition. Zoom out. Then press Ctrl or Command plus T to open the free transform. Fit the image with canvas. Next, we will add our model image. You can go with your own image. Go to the model image document. Now we need to remove the background. I would like to remove the background with the pen tool. Because we will add a stroke to the model so that's why the pen tool is the best for the outline. Take the pen tool and make a path around the model. Take your time and make the path as perfect as possible. Now we make the path around the model. Next, we need to convert the path into a selection. Press Ctrl or Command plus Enter. It will make the path into a selection. Then apply a layer mask. Zoom closer, you can see we need also make a path in here. 
so make the path. After that press Ctrl or Command plus Enter to make the selection. Select the layer mask. Take the black color to the background and press Ctrl or Command plus Backspace. Now we remove the background of the model. Next, we will take the image, and paste it to the main composition. Press Ctrl or Command plus T, zoom out, and make the image size smaller. Hit OK, and then position the image. Now we will add stroke to the model. Double click on the layer. Apply a stroke. Take size 15, position outside and then leave all the settings, and hit OK. Next, we will add text on the left side. Go to the toolbar and take the type tool. Now write a word. Then go to character, I am going with Gotham Black. Go with the same settings like me. Now customize all the text and information into the thumbnail. Adjust the size of the text and place it in the perfect area. Now add rectangle shapes back to the texts. Take your time and, adjust it properly. Next, we are going to adjust the text and shape. Lock model and background layer. Then select all the text and shape layers. Make the shape and text like me. And adjust it again as like mine. Now for the final design, we will adjust the text with applying layer style. Now follow my steps and apply the first layer style to the YouTube text. Then copy the layer style and place it to the thumbnail text. Adjust the layer style with the text and see what looks perfect. Then adjust the text with the layer style. Make all the adjustments that make the text looks professional. Apply stroke to the white rectangle. Also, adjust the text layer styles again. Now we are done. We give all the professional touch to the text, so that it looks professional. Now we did with all the adjustments. Next, I would like to add some lights to the design. I have these lights. If you like to download, check the link in the description. First, change the blending mood into the screen. And then position the lights. And adjust the light size properly. Now we are done. You can see we created our thumbnail. We give the professional look. Now let me know how your thumbnails are. If you face any problem, let me know in the comment section below. Let's see our final output. Now, I just show you all the tricks and tips to design a professional YouTube thumbnail. I give all the tricks that a professional designer uses to edit a YouTube thumbnail. But if you like to make YouTube thumbnail from me, you can order a design in Fiverr.
I will design the most perfect design for you. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching the tutorial until the end. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. And give a like on this video and share the tutorial with your friend and show love for my work and channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Not just subscribe also press the bell icon, so that you can get all the notifications of my channel when I upload new tutorials. So be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any chance to learn new things from my channel. That's it for today. See you in my next tutorial. Till then, bye. And the most important thing. Keep learning.